Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm an author on many books on how to draw cartoons, and I'll show you one that's fun today. Cartoon cats are very popular, so let's try it. Let's keep it nice and simple, and let's exaggerate at the same time, but exaggeration is not difficult. Watch, here is an oval. You can draw an oval. It's sort of like a, uh, a circle that doesn't know what's going on. That's an oval. And we'll have this other kind of bowling pin shape right here. We'll put two legs bent, those are the knees on both sides. Here's the chest, that little V right there is the chest. And we'll bring these feet down here, just in front of the shape. I'm going to, to erase this part here. And just, I like to put the toes in there, kind of finish part of it, so I know where it's going. So I'm gonna lower these knees a little bit so that the feet go behind the arms and the paws. See that? So it kind of works that way. I'm gonna lower the chest a little bit so that I can, whoa, so I can widen it. Like that. All right, now let's put the center line in this guy. I'm going to lower the face a little bit because I think it's a little too much neck. So we're eyeballing this as we go along. We're not saying, I put those guidelines down, I have to follow them exactly. That's, that's not what we're doing. We are following them to get started. And when our decisions change, we make those changes. Right, so let's make the bridge of the nose low for a cat, like this. And now I will make this kind of cat with kind of fur that squares off. So let's square off a little bit like this. And we'll, we'll finish this up in a moment. But instead of a true oval, that was just to get started. Remember, we just get started with these things. And here is the eye line across the bridge of the nose. And we will use a very flattened oval, because we're gonna give this guy some personality here. So the eyes are going to flatten. And we're going to put a floating eyeball on each side. We're gonna bring one eyebrow down, one eyebrow up. And a little bit of smile on this side. Maybe I'll give him a little bit of a, an eyelid over here. Just touch a little bit, because that makes him a little bit evil. So if he's a little evil, I'm going to curl that smile a little more. Okay. Bring those ears. Same place. See, I'm just checking the, the height of those tips. Make sure they're the same spot. You can do that right here too, so it's pretty much the same. Bring this in a little bit. Bring this in a little bit. Actually, I kind of like them happy, so I am going to make the eyes a little more expressive this way. Instead of being horizontal, I'm going to make them round. And I will do this again with the marker. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I still want one side of the smile to be a little higher than the other, because of personality. And he needs a little bit of a cupped chin. Here is the collar. Okay, now, oh, I almost forgot. What's that? Gotta have that kind of fun little tail going on there. Okay, let's, uh, let's finish them up. Here is the little jelly bean of a nose. 
And now the eyes, because if you make a mistake with the eyes, that's it. You got to do it over. So I like to do the eyes first, so I know I've got it. Okay. And they're floating a little bit. And looking straight ahead, uh, slightly together, slightly this way, which means they look focused. And a little bit of a bridge in the nose, not much. Right, here's that smile higher on this side. And a little shadow for the cup of the chin. Straight, long eyebrows, but they're off high. And high eyebrows means the character's happy. Kind of like body language for the face. Okay, here we go. It's kind of straight below here. A little bit of a tuft of hair. Like that. Curved line, a curved line. The other way curved, other way curved. And these are really big cones, the shape of The interior is one line. So, you know, I mean, some, some characters don't have to have like uh, really big cat ears, but it's such an endemic thing. It's just like having an elephant with a small trunk. You, you generally want to have a big trunk. So the ears need to be a really big feature. The knees come out and in. Knees come out and in, like so. There's a fur at the chest there. We don't have to finish that. We can just suggest it. And they're kind of plump arms. They come down like this, not straight lines. Bring the feet out and kind of widen them into mittens. A couple of toes. Add a little tab right there. And like so. And make contact with the ground with a shadow. Indicate the shadow. And how about some Whiskers like this. Droopy whiskers is for a down expression. He's a happy guy, so we'll have the whiskers horizontal. And how about a little marking on either side? Like that, maybe a couple on the tail. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you subscribe. I have new videos all the time, and I'm really glad you join me. Write in and make a suggestion. I read them all, and sometimes I will do a video from them, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.